If you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start concealing with my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. And I'm going to cover up all of my acne, but leave the darkness under my eyes and on top of my eyes, my eyelids, alone. Because that will add to the overall look. Um, so this is a time when if you have um, dark circles that it works out. Now I'm going to take a fluffy BH Cosmetics brush with any brown or medium brown um, color that you have. It doesn't matter which brand or anything like that. And emphasize your dark circles. So I'm going to make my dark circles even worse and sort of make it look like my eyes are sunken in and hollow. Then I'm going to take some blue, white, pale blue colors, like three or four of them, from any color palette that you have. It doesn't really matter. Just use the stuff that you have so you don't have to buy stuff for Halloween. And I'm going to cover my whole face with that and blend around the dark circle so it doesn't look fake. <laughs> Make sure to blend really well all the way through down your neck, your chest, whatever's showing through your costume, and also to blend your ears and into your hairline and stuff like that. It was like really creepy in my ears. Now I'm gonna take another like angled dome brush thing and take, I took a gray, like an ashy gray color and tried to hollow out my cheeks and also the sides of my nose all the way going up into my brow bone so to make myself look a little bit more angular and did you just suck in your cheeks and put it into the hollows of your cheeks and be sure to blend it out I went a little bit up like in a triangular shape to try to make my cheeks appear higher to where my um, cheekbones look a little bit more sunken in so I look a little bit more dead. You can contour the sides of your nose all the way up into your inside brows so it'll make more shadows. The more shadows that you make on your face and uh, accentuate all that kind of stuff, the more dead you will appear. I'm going to take a fluffy angled brush and start blending all that stuff in because the some people like harsh lines for this kind of stuff, but I think to make it easier for people who aren't as good at makeup, like I'm really not that good at precise makeup, so if you blend it, then you don't have to worry about it being perfect. And so the dogs were acting crazy, and I didn't get to film me doing my neck and my um, collarbones and stuff like that, but yeah, that's what it looks like. I think my husband's home. <laughs> Okay, so I have an angled brush, and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, which is something I don't typically do, but since this is a Halloween look, um, it would kind of look not finished or um, not polished if you don't do your eyebrows. But then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and go in with a dark purple color, but I wet the brush so it looks a little bit more like the color that I already have for my under eyes. So whatever color you already have, if you have under eye circles, go with that color because changing it or making it black or something like that just it doesn't make it um, realistic. 
So this isn't going to be like true, hardcore, realistic stuff, but I mean, it's using the stuff that you already have. So you don't have to go out to, you know, the spirit store and buy a whole bunch of stuff. But I took that same color and made a little cat eye, you know, and I'm going to blend it out with my uh, blending brush from BH Cosmetics. Now I'm going to go in with a dark red eyeliner to give the effect of like blood in my eyes kind of thing. <laughs> my cat is sneezing. Um, and I'm going to drag it all the way from my waterline through the lash line and a little bit underneath. So it looks more prominent so you can see it. My eyes are pretty small so I like to uh, not put anything underneath my eyes for real makeup. But... It ended up looking pretty good. I went ahead and drew a little like um, dribble of blood <laughs> next to my mouth, which is awesome. So you can peer into my uh, stomach right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there Close up, it looks super fake, but from far away, it doesn't. And now I'm going to put some messily into the inside part of my lips. Um, just to make it seem like there's blood in my mouth. Um, but yeah, so that's all I used. Literally, that's it. So this is all the kind of stuff that I've already owned in my makeup collection that's not that large. So nobody has to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff. And I used my, um, what was that, Pro Extends to do my eyelashes. Brains. Brains. <laughs> oh, babies, you're okay. Come on. So I will zoom you into my face. Whoa. Okay. So, let me move my hairs. At the end I show you how I make my hair uh, act wild, even though. Uh, if you just don't do your hair, it's probably going to look exactly like this. So, here is the um, zombie dead person makeup. Okay, for the hair part, I'll just talk <laughs> for real. Um, I didn't do anything to my hair after I washed it. Um, I just let it dry naturally, and for me, my hair is like this naturally, just a little bit strange. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, section my hair off just taking the top half away with a zip clip and I'm gonna take a um what do you call it a teasing comb and I'm just gonna pick random hairs I'm gonna tease it all the way down and that's all so thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye.